Steve in Sacramento, thank you for calling. Hi, Dennis. Good to hear from you. And well, by the way, I yep. have to say, That's funny because yep. you, you called me, but it's still good for, to hear from me. That's cute. <laughs> I know. Uh, I have the same skepticism you do, but I do have a little bit more alarm on this one than the H1N and the prior ones, and it has to do with the with the with the statistics. Really, um, you mentioned the millions of people who were infected in the in the thousands, but that ratio is quite different than what we're seeing in places like New York and in, in, in the U.S. And the second point. Um, Sweden's death rate is actually quite a bit higher than the U.S. when you consider it per capita at this point. Yeah. Well, I understand. It's all based on... But uh, you have, this is the answer to, to your... I think it's the answer to your question. We don't know how many people have had it or have it now because so few have been tested. And, and that, so that's... that's that's when I'll know what the ratio, what the mortality rate is. You can only know the mortality rate based on the number of people who have it. If 200 million, I'm, I'm, right? You, you're with me on that, correct? Absolutely. I mean, I'm an engineer. I'm a data nut. I'm always looking at the data. And I'm looking at this one, and over a time period, it is different than other uh, than former uh, pandemics. One of the problems, or one of the situations we have is we've never had this kind of access to the data before. I mean, the da everybody and his brother is looking at charts and trying to interpret them. Right. But we need to do it in the context of other charts. That's all. That's really all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And by the way, my make another comment. I, about four years ago, my 28-year-old daughter, who had moved to Boston, told me that about this new radio show she found, and she was listening to you every day. It was one of the most exciting moments of my life. That is, a, that is so adorable. I'm very, very touched. I know this is going to sound awful to those who don't like me, but he's right. It should have been one of the most exciting days in his life because if your child shares your values, I, I, it's, it, is, it is an unbelievably important and wonderful thing in your life. And you're lucky, too. There's a lot of luck in life. Crack potty. Crack potty. Crack potty.